Now, many Kenyans will agree that Oscar Sudi is a very brave politician. Many will agree that it takes quite a lot to scare or shock Oscar Sudi. However, I carefully observed Oscar Sudi's reaction to what Senator Mithika Linturi was saying about Madoadoa. And actually, Sudi was shocked. Sudi was scared. Sudi was terrified over those remarks by Senator Linturi. <laughs> what is the senator smoking? Or what had the senator drunk before that rally? Because his remarks, I, 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 I. I know he has apologized and he has tried to reward, yeah, to put his remarks in different words. But in my view, that is impossible because what he said was crystal clear. Yeah, the message was very, very clear. Just listen in. I'll be back in a second and tell me what you think. Sababu. Sisi tunataka kuwa kwa serikali ambayo inaokuja. Lakini niwaambie nyinyi mtusicheshe. Watu wa Oshinigisho mzicheze na Kenya. Na kile ninawaomba ni kwamba mandoa ndoa yale mlio nayo hapa muweze kuondoa. Muweze kufanya nini? Atuwezi kuwa tunasimama na William tukiwa kule Mount Kenya na Meru alafu mko na wengine hapa hawasikii hawaungani na yeye mko tayari kutuondolea hao mko tayari na ya mwisho you know it is possible when somebody gets older that they get confused it is possible when somebody gets older that they go into a meeting where people are talking in a certain way and then, when they go to speak to the public, yeah, later, it is possible for that person to forget the forum where he's speaking and to repeat the words people may have spoken in private. It's possible when you get older. Yeah, that's a fact. So I'm wondering to myself whether this is what happened. Because Senator Linturi is usually... Yeah, a person who is reserved is usually a wise man. He usually picks his words carefully. So what happened in Eldoret? It's a real mystery to me. And indeed it is no surprise that uh, he was picked up and that he may be charged with hate speech. That shouldn't surprise anybody yeah, if you've just listened to the remarks he made. You see of all places Eldoret is the last place where you want to mention the word Madoadoa, which first came to the limelight during the very unfortunate 2007 elections. Yeah. And it means people within you who do not fit Madoadoa, spots, stains, that's what it means. And we all know what unfolded in 2007. Therefore, why would a whole senator, an old man and older people are supposed to be wiser, use that word at a rally for the deputy president, bang in the middle of Eldoret town? It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't. I know most people are focusing on throwing bubs at the senator, but according to me, even before I start criticizing him. I'm puzzled. I need to understand why he made those remarks. Believe me, it is a real mystery. Yani alisema kitu, mpaka Oscar Sudi akashtuka. What is really going on here? Now, Kenyans need to realize that we have fellow Kenyans within the Rift Valley 
who live in fear. We must appreciate that. We must appreciate the fact that there are some Kenyans who live in the Rift Valley and who do not feel comfortable. Indeed, these Kenyans may feel more comfortable in a foreign country. But here they are in their own country because they are Kenyans and they don't feel comfortable. Why? Because of politics. And you see, these Manenos started during the tail end of the reign of President Daniel Turuti Charap Moy. When multi-party was introduced, it was one of the Moy tactics to force those in the Rift Valley who do not belong to his community to toe the line and vote for Moy or else leave. This was Moy's tactics. And they were enhanced in 2007. Yeah, we saw what happened. The very unfortunate incident. So many innocent Kenyans lost their lives. Yeah. But still, even today, we have some poor Kenyans living within the Red Valley who are not comfortable. And therefore, you can understand what the remarks of Senator Linturi did to these Kenyans. You can imagine what they're feeling. Yeah, they're already not comfortable. Then somebody comes and makes remarks like this. Gosh. When somebody has to be bullied to vote in a certain way, yeah, because they live in a certain part of Kenya, it is wrong. It's very wrong. I have seen in the past, even on social media and even on this channel, people trying to make excuses yeah, because they don't like that particular community. And these people have been trying to say that that community deserves it. What rubbish. Let me give you a little wisdom. You don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. You're not God. And therefore, when something happens to your brother or sister whom you do not like, and you want to support it, you want to make excuses for it, bear in mind that tomorrow it is possible that you will be in precisely the same situation. Yeah? And you won't know what to do. I'll give you a very good example. Many in Team Tanga Tanga witnessed the harassment of ODM people during the 2017 presidential elections. They observed the way NASA people were followed by policemen, picked up, arrested, some of them charged, yeah, some of them even murdered. And they were okay with it. In fact, they were supporting it. <laughs> because they thought they were God. Now, fast forward to 2021, 2022, when a few Tangatanga -tanga people are arrested, yeah, or when a few Tangatanga -tanga people run into problems with the police, <laughs> do they remember what happened in 2017? Do they? Do they remember what they were saying in 2017? And that includes the Deputy President himself. <laughs> yeah? Until next time, this is Chris Kumekucha.